Tonight, I'm going to show you how to make a creamy almond butter Snickers. Stick around. Greetings, my confectionery compadres, and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. If you've been a compadre for a while, you know that one of the things I like to do here in the candy kitchen is try to recreate candy that you can buy at the store. In fact, I have an entire playlist devoted to commercial copycats. Well, tonight, I thought I'd try another of the wide variety of Snickers bars. It's not terribly difficult, and I think it's going to be pretty tasty, so let's have at it. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own creamy almond butter Snickers, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For this recipe, I used some of the caramel filling that many of you will probably recognize. For that, you'll need 15 caramels, 3 quarters of a cup of sweetened condensed milk, and 1 quarter cup of butter. I'm also using a quarter cup of almond butter, 1 tablespoon of powdered sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter tablespoon of corn syrup, 3 tablespoons of chopped almonds, and 1 and a half cups of milk chocolate. I also used a mold, a bench scraper, a spatula, a rack, and a silicone mat. I used a 2x2x1 two by two by mold here and got 6 large candy bars. If your mold is a different size, you'll get a different amount. Which I guess is a good time to talk about something new. RMC has an Amazon storefront now. If you see a piece of equipment or a special ingredient in an episode, there's a good chance you'll find it in the RMC store. This mold is there along with cutters, small appliances, and other things you might find useful. If you purchase something through the store, you won't get charged anything extra, but Amazon will slip me a few cents. It's an easy way for you to support the channel, and it'll be greatly appreciated by everyone here in the candy kitchen. Me. Okay, let's make some candy. In a saucepan over medium heat, add the sweetened condensed milk and butter. Stir until the butter is melted, then add the caramels and turn the heat to medium-low. Stir this continuously so the caramels don't burn. When the caramels are fully melted, pour the mixture into some jars and set them aside to cool. Melt the chocolate and fill the mold cavities almost to the top, then push the chocolate all the way up to the top of each side. Flip the mold and allow the chocolate to drain. Clean the rack. Then clean the mold and set it aside. Combine the almond butter, powdered sugar, corn syrup, and salt, and set it aside. Fold the almonds into about half a cup four ounces or so, of the caramel. Add a layer of caramel to each mold cavity. Be sure to leave room for a layer of the almond butter mixture and the top layer of chocolate. Top the caramel with a layer of peanut butter mixture, leaving room for the chocolate. Remelt the drained chocolate and cover the peanut butter mixture.
Leave it on the counter until the chocolate is set, then remove the bars from the mold. And that's it. Okay, let's have a taste. You know, maybe I should have gone with a one by two mold. This thing is honking. Slanchy va. Ooh, this is really nice. Definitely a Snickers bar with the chocolate and caramel and nuts, but the almonds and almond butter really set it apart from the original candy bar. I tell you what, compadres, if you're looking to switch up your Snickers game, you really ought to try these. Tonight, I'm going to show you how to make a creamy almond butter. This mold is there that I don't have in my hands, which I guess is a good time. <laughs> If you see a piece of, piece of, piece of, piece of, your Snickers, Snickers. <laughs>